Choosing to bring in veteran Joe Cortez. The referee this one. He sparred with him. He suspects he could hit right. He hits him right there. With... Vargas to the body. One thing he promised was rough body punch. Vargas with the uppercut. To get decisions. And he is fighting Todegar. A mark of Fernando's strength. But right, well balanced, looking confident. Winky right. Now Body. Chopping right hand across the top by right. Vargas manages to land a statement against Fernandez. Absolutely. Vargas trying and trying to back Vargas up. Even Yori Boy Campus couldn't back Vargas up. But if Vargas expected right to four punch combination, by the seems to have thrown him back just a little bit with the unexpectedness of this tactic. And there's oh. another vicious right to the body by Vargas. Right answers with the same. Try to prove any point, start to box him. Yeah, Dan Birmingham, his trainer, is in front of Vargas and trains. Well, my suggestion that Vargas might come in impatient, as has been the case throughout his career. Uh, he says, I train. Round three has so far been a tactical affair. Not a lot of leather landed on either side. Body right misses with a swinging right hook. Triple uppercut by Vargas. Uppercut landed for Vargas, snapped right's head back. Investing more in a body attack, and now he goes to the head. And right trying to answer every thought. Vargas trying to use those 72 punches against Vargas. Only 25 of them jabs, 47 power shots. They're swelling under the left eye of Fernando Vargas. And Vargas begins to fight with a greater sense of urgency. The move and comes straight back inside again. Right lands an uppercut. And there's a vicious right hand by Vargas. Straight right hands up the middle, starting to do big damage for Vargas in this. And another right cross and a left hook to the body. And now Fernando begins to land three and four punches at a time. And his will, and he's traveled all over the world to fight. And he is really taking some. Uh, I got it 2-2, 38-38. Two two, I got it all even. Jim, I'm going to tell you something. I thought we ran. This is a great slugging match, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's just a matter of who gets in more clean shots. Vargas looking very strong to this point. Round five. Fernando Vargas drives up, staying right in front of Fernando and trading with him. Doing much better with that so far in the fight than... It's amazing that a fighter of Wright's caliber could materialize the only two losses to Harry Simon and Julio Cesar Vasquez. Nine years ago in the Olympic Festival, they're swelling under both the Fernando Vargas's eyes. And well, there should be. They may not have any natural enemies, but in the ring they do. I probably would have said it's a suicide mission. Coming back with a combination. As you said, Larry, this is the kind of guy mandatory challenges were made for. Right. 54-pound title defense for Vargas, who has 17 knockouts and 17 fights coming in. Then now that I don't train just to fight six rounds. Hard left hand by Winky Wright. Halfway through, and it's anyone's fight. With tiny edges there, statistically, in the fight. Vargas. Kind of blistering action bout we've become accustomed to having in the three years of the boxing after dark telecast. Interesting challenge, interesting kind of fight for Fernando Vargas. Or just with a hard right hand. Vargas takes a right hand. 
by Vargas lands flush. An old time fighter. As you said, Larry, into the, too many of these wars. Just be 22 on next Tuesday. In round seven, copy box number. Content the counselor's punches doing more damage. Not having heard much about Winky Wright, they might have expected their man to score one of his patented e Vicious right hand to the body by Vargas. Fernando has got to come forward and just take the pressure away. Winky Wright walking right through him. Jack Hanna. Fernando gets a chance to double up with the uppercut and does so. This is right despite continued swelling around both eyes. Knocks Vargas' mouthpiece out with a straight left hand. Fernando Vargas to feel that mouthpiece fly out of the ring. so badly on the scorecards going to the tent that he was trying to put punches together. Wink. Right stands can't winky winky winky. Winky right has only been stuck one can see why right here. Putting right down. And he's mounting a rally here, and he's gonna might save him the fight. Body shot by Vargas. Left hook lands upstairs. Double uppercut. Vargas keeps firing. Uppercut. Body shot. Busting right with power punches in the middle of the ring. Did you see the CompuBox number? 99 punches by Vargas in the 10th round. Winky Wright now starting to come back with an energy rally of his own in round 11. Vargas tries to stop it right here. Fernando's such an accurate puncher, you don't often see him miss Wilder. Stage of the fight. It's not about boxing. Straight right hand flush, but right up on his feet and moving in the 11th. Smart tactics at this stage of the fight. Olympic gold medalist David Reed. He keeps moving away. Vargas trying to get right in front of him. Can't do it. So his title. And an equally dramatic 12th round. This 12th round probably will decide who wins the fight. Vargas slips on a tiring Vargas misses with the left foot. Right stands in and fires his jab. Unexpected pressure for the 154-pound superstar, Fernando Vargas. Oh, Hard right guys. cross, and another one. I believe. I think so, too. And it will all depend on a few close rounds early in the...